Our Chasing the Fox series continues, and today we're exploring Corrales. Corrales is New Mexico, real, historic, and unique. For some of the residents who live here, this is the land of their ancestors, and for others, it's the land of their dreams. Corrales has become the horse capital of New Mexico. Uh, everyone rides horses here, and if you don't, you aspire to ride a horse. And as you can see in the background, people ride horses to go to the village mart, to the frontier mart, they ride horses to go to the post office, they ride horses to go to village hall, and to some of our local restaurants. It's a very horse-minded community, and we all love having this great opportunity here. Corrales has a very vibrant art community. In fact, we just had our Corrales Art Studio Tour where over 60 artists opened their studios to the general public. And this is one of those studios that we're in today. The studio is Juan's. He is a printmaker and he is a painter. Uh, all of our artists here have very different tastes and produce very different types of work. So if you're into art, Corrales is a great place to come. One of the great ways to see Corrales is to stay at one of our fantastic B&Bs. We call it a staycation because you don't have to go very far to experience a whole different lifestyle. You have the beauty of Corrales, you have all of our great trails, our, the acequias, you have all the wildlife here, you can ride horses, you can go hiking, you can go biking and still be close to home. We like to call it, as I said, a staycation. History truly comes alive in Corrales. We have our old church and we have the Gutierrez Ming House, which are great examples of what life was like back in the 1800s. In fact, Corrales is celebrating its 300th anniversary this year, so it truly is a great place to see what New Mexico was in the past. In addition to being an artistic town, Corrales is in a great agricultural village. In fact, the agriculture goes back a long way. This town is celebrating its 300th anniversary, and the vineyards have been here since the 1800s. Frenchmen settled here because they found the climate to be adaptable to growing the kinds of grapes that they, they wanted to pursue. Corrales offers a number of different restaurants that cater to every taste. We have, uh, we have breakfast and lunch places, we have lunch and dinner places, we have informal, we have formal. This is just one of the many venues that we have here in Corrales that cater not only to the local residents, but to people in Rio Rancho and Albuquerque and to the guests who stay in the B&B. The menus are varied. The food ranges from New Mexican to classic European to Mediterranean. Anything that you want, you can get here in Corrales. Corrales is a unique village located in a metropolitan area. It's miles of hiking trails, it's restaurants, it's wineries, it's history. All of it claim your heart when you come to visit one way or the other. So we urge you to come and stay in Corrales, spend a weekend, spend a day, spend some time and see what we love about Corrales. If you would like more information about working, living, or playing in Corrales, everything that you need to know is on the village's website. Coming up next on New Mexico Style, Nikki sits with Corrales Mayor Philip Gastire.